Okay, we're gonna time this boot here, which is extremely slow. And then we're gonna do a full reset, and then we're gonna time it again. System reset, yeah. Biggest thing is it's a blank screen there for quite a while. Wow, it's almost a full minute before the green screen pops up. Can't say I've ever seen that before. Not kind of sound either, this is real time. We're almost two minutes into the startup process here. about over two minutes to start up all right so what we're gonna do here is we're going to we're gonna do a system reset uh, reset and remove everything Let's see if that improves the startup time. Point the monitor uh, lights still on, so there we go. Okay, so that's an actual reboot just there. Maybe forgive the screen here just because maybe it's actually doing some reset stuff. Although I think the resetting was going on. Yeah, here we go. Screen means reset. So let's see if it takes a whole minute for it to 
right now we're about five minutes into the video. That was about 30 seconds. At some point I'm going to have to re-add an account to the system and then I'll shut it down and then start it back up again and see if we get that minute delay before we boot the system. So I exemplified here the issue with the customer. He's having a few issues. The If you install the game on the, in, on the internal hard drive it wouldn't run and just in general it takes a full two minutes to actually be able to start using your console. So we'll see if that's, uh, that's improved as well. I'm just gonna let this run to getting to the setup. General belief is that this is either the hard drive is bad or the system itself just needs a reset. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here, add my account, and retime the startup process. Okay, I've added my account to the system. It's in energy saver mode. So we're going to see before the system reset, it took two full minutes to actually start up. So let's see, this time after reset, if that's improved at all. If not, the next step is going to be to uh, clone the 500 gig drive to a two terabyte drive and start using that drive instead. And we'll see if a new drive improves those things. The other interesting thing is um, I'm going to uh, hook up my system and time the startup because I, I, this is not something I usually do so I'd be curious to see if uh, if this is about on par. So we hit uh, gonna hit the minute mark in about five more seconds. Um, prior to this the black screen stayed up for a full minute. Okay, so uh, I want to say a little under a minute, 30 seconds. So that's definitely uh, 30 seconds better than it was. Um, since I'm going to be cloning the drive, I'll probably just install something, try it out. Yeah, let's. Uh, let's install a game here. Trying to put something really small. Anything worthwhile. Um, yeah, here's a perfect one. Pac-Man should be tiny. Yeah, nine hundred megabytes. Okay, we're back. Uh, Try to run the game, and then uh, we'll do a reset, see if the game still runs, um, and then we'll move everything over to uh, the two terabyte drive.
slow. <laughs> we have to time this out of the system just to see. And the startup time of a minute and a half does seem long. It's better than two minutes, but Pac Man took too long to start. Alright, yeah, see, I think this is what this dude was saying. He just can't play games off his internal drive. Which is, uh,. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart it and try it one more time. But here I'm just doing it a second time around just to see if it uh, cached anything on the last attempt. Plus it'll be good to uh, oops. Um, the system has been open before. I don't know if you can see that back there no sticker but uh, I haven't personally been the one to open it so yeah all right so there's the error code again uh, for some reason it took too long to start I'm gonna shut it I'm gonna uh, I want to shut it down and start up again and try it again and if it doesn't work again I probably won't even record that. I'll only record it if for some reason it actually does start. Okay, this is the next uh, boot up trial. I've uh, switched to the two terabyte drive, cloned it from the 500 gigabyte drive, which seemed to be booting slow and couldn't load games. So now we'll see if it boots faster and if it loads games. All right, so we're 20 seconds in here. Let's start. Also change the LED from white to blue. By request. I uh, tested booting on another system and instead of taking a minute and a half, so it was two minutes originally, I reset the console, it was a minute 30. Uh, I booted my other system that I use on a regular basis and it took about 45 seconds, so half the time, 45 seconds versus a minute and a half. So another 10 seconds will be about where we want to be. And yeah, there you go. So uh, yeah, interesting issue. I figured I'd film this one really quick. It seems to be, and we'll load up the game too, but uh, we can already see much faster boot times. So for whatever was wrong with the original 500 gigabyte drive, booted really slow. Everything about it was slow. So slow games wouldn't even load. But So let's try that now. We're going to load Pac-Man here. And before we couldn't even get the game to run, so let's see if we have better luck this time. And there you go, and the game loads. And let's actually play it for a second here. Uh, okay, anyways, there we go. Second data. All right, let's try a game really quick. Again, this is loading off the internal drive. Seems to load or play fine. Here, let me just show you one more thing. Pause it. Let's go into settings here. And let's look at the uh, storage so you can see the new storage amount. And I don't think you can see that on camera. Right there. So. With the exception of the one game installed, we have 1.7 terabytes of 1.7 terabytes free. So you can see it's a two terabyte drive. And uh, another worthwhile test is the network applet. See if it loads. It does. Beautiful. All right, so that's it. This console is uh, fixed.